Good morning guys, day 222, yeah, 222, uh, anyway, uh, today's useless facts will be on Leonardo da Vinci. His first commercial painting was to decorate a shield, for which his father received 100 ducats, and kept to himself. Though the Mona Lisa was a commissioned project, da Vinci decided to keep the painting for himself. After his death, it was bought by the King of France and remained in royal hands for more than two centuries. When the French Revolution changed the tone of the city, the masterpiece was transferred to its current home, the Louvre. However, Napoleon Bonaparte allegedly borrowed it for a while to decorate his bedroom wall. Da Vinci is considered by many to be the godfather of modern science. Though he is more widely recognized for his painting, he was also a dedicated engineer and architect, designing many of the chief structures and public works of Milan. His scientific notebooks are filled with studies and analyses of problems in dynamics, anatomy, physics, optics, biology, hydraulics, and even aeronautics. This is a useless fact. I actually find that kind of fascinating. I wonder if the uh, author of this book was... No, I'm not going to say it. Was even interested in science. Okay, I said it. <sighs> he drew plans for the first armored car in 1485. In addition, he designed the cannon, a machine gun, gliders, a turnspit for roasting meat, irrigated canal system for fields, the parachute, scissors, and even invented the bicycle 300 years before it appeared on the road. Again, that does not seem all that useless to me. Leonardo was born out of wedlock on April 15, 1452. Hey, three days before my birthday. And that means absolutely nothing. Leonardo was a vegetarian for humanitarian reasons, a very uncommon practice at the time. Huh. That I did not know. But still, very interesting. Yeah, like I said yesterday, I don't think there is any uh, useless facts on Leonardo da Vinci. Um, anyway, that's it for today's useless facts. Tomorrow we have, um, I don't think I've done facts on the Dalai Lama yet. Mm, probably not. Alright, so tomorrow's useless facts will be on the Dalai Lama. Alright, so on today's agenda, nothing. Nothing really. Uh, nothing planned for today, um, didn't feel like sitting at home all day though, so I figured, you know what, go, um, take care of a little bit of grocery shopping, and, uh, I don't know, see how all the stores have fared after Black Friday, I guess? Well, they must have had plenty of time by now to restock the shelf, no? Maybe, or at least clean up the mess. I don't know. In any case, um, yeah. Uh, might as well. Today is the last time I'll ever have a, a truly free day. Take care of whatever needs to be taken, I can take care of, I guess. Maybe clean my guinea pig's cage. Well, all set with the shopping. Well, grocery shopping anyway. Now, the question is, do I want to make a quick stop into Walmart, take a look around and see how badly uh, Black Friday has treated it, or um, just go straight home? Maybe give my friends a call. 
Mm. Yeah, I guess I'll make a quick stop in Walmart. It's on my way home anyway. Alright, Walmart's next. Let's see what kind of a mess we will find there. Alright, so I'm home from shopping. Just finished putting away all the groceries and um Yeah, that's it. That's it for my day, I guess. I have nothing else to do. Except maybe some mundane chores, but that's about it. <sighs> Tomorrow I start working at NCG, so woo! Oh, Really was hoping to spend the uh, last weekend I'll ever have where I am completely free uh, with friends or something, but oh well. Guess that's not going to happen. Anyway, uh, I was going to uh, vlog while I was inside Walmart, show you the. Um, chaos left behind after Black Friday but the Walmart in my town either is incredibly efficient at cleaning up and restocking the shelves or um, everyone was just so civilized on Black Friday that and so orderly that they did not leave a mess or no one in my town went to Walmart on Friday one of those three because I go into Walmart and I was expecting to see like a war zone but instead I find all the shelves neatly uh, stocked you know, and uh, aisles were nice and clean, clear, and whatever, you know, so. Hmm. Yeah, it's like, it doesn't even look like there has ever been a Black Friday sale in that Walmart at all. So, um. I probably should have uh, paid a visit to Target and Best Buy as well, but those were not exactly on my way home so uh, anyway I guess that's it for today see you guys tomorrow